last night we had our party up here on the top of the hotel this like rooftop pool that's behind me and the party went a lot later than the pool would normally be open to thank you very much mr hotel manager guy but as a result the hotel staff forgot to lock the door and that means now at six o'clock in the morning i can come chill up here it's really really nice Today is unfortunately our very last day here in Italy. Starting in like two more hours, we're going to be on a bus on our way to Budapest, Hungary. Venice here, definitely my favorite city. Now that I got home and looked at all my pictures and like went through all the videos and stuff. Definitely my favorite city. So I got lucky today with the pool being open because of our pool party. Like the door just kind of opens, it's not locked. But even if it was locked, look where they keep the key. The second key down here fits in the door. Very, very clever hiding spot. Hotel breakfast. And then they have strawberry juice, which is surprisingly good. Bye bye Italy. They're slowly starting to load up our bus so that we can get out of here. Two hours into our nine hour bus ride, yeah. and we decided we're gonna make a stop in Slovenia to check out some really, really old and really cool kids. <laughs> I just got hit by a koala costume. Are we in there? Wait for it. As if a nine hour bus ride wasn't bad enough, I have to sit in front of these hooligans. God help me. Danke. Getting off the bus for the first time in Slovenia. So here in this little Slovenian town, there is the biggest underground cave system in all of Europe. So we're staying here for like two or a little more than two hours, and our plan is to go down into the caves, check out all the slagtites and slagmites and all the cool like crystals and stuff growing inside the cave, then hop on our bus and finish another eight hours to get to Budapest. It's kind of cool. I've never been in a real cave. The little sign over there, says English for the tours and normally when you're here in Europe if they say English it's just a British flag but under that British flag there's the nice little American flag there that's a nice touch look they put the American flag under the English sign that there behind me is the cave we're gonna go in it's big dark and scary to get inside this really big cave thing we have to take this little train that we're on and I don't know what else to say you should put on like a higher, higher. higher. You can show the train. Yeah, now you're showing the train. Okay, we'll try that again. So to get inside this, to get inside this really big cave thing, we have to take this nice little yellow train. Look at this thing. It's starting to move. Say hi. We're finally going in. We got off our train and now we're inside the cave. It's very, very cold. Well, this cave is all full of like electric lights so that us tourists can walk around here. And the lights just went out for like, I don't know, 10, five 15 seconds. seconds. That was, I think it was longer than five. But that was super cool. Okay. Everything clear? There's an underground waterfall. We're just about finished with our cave. We're going over here to the nice train again. And then we're going back outside. And it's about time because I'm freezing. Uh, okay. After being in a cave for the last hour and a half, my eyes are burning. Cave adventure, back on the bus, and now we're starting our seven hour ride to Budapest. We 
we got into Hungary 20 or 25 minutes ago, and we were a little late, so we had to go right into um, dinner there, which was fantastic, and I didn't really have time to say anything to the vlog. So this is officially the Welcome to Hungary video here. I can't read anything, and that's like the first time since I've started this trip. I mean, I could understand a little bit of the French, a little Italian, a little Spanish, all that good stuff. But here, the language makes absolutely no sense to me, and I can't understand a single thing. Yeah. We're upstairs on my floor. Well, I'm upstairs, actually. My roommate just disappeared. And this hotel, thank God, has Wi-Fi. We're here in the hotel, and lots of things are improved compared to our last one. One, this hotel has Wi-Fi, which means these vlogs can go online when they should be online. I really like that. And then two, this hotel is really big and has a nice pool, and then our rooms here in this hotel are 100% the best rooms we've had since we started this trip. Check these rooms out. You gotta put your key in the little thing to get the lights on. But once you get the lights on, the room is super big and super duper nice. I put a swimsuit on, got my laptop set up to upload all the vlogs that need to go on. I think I have three days worth of them now. And now the plan is to, oh, they're there. The plan now is to go swimming. Let's check out the pool. Look at that. Finally, a decent internet connection so I can get the next vlog online. I, like I said, am three, three vlogs behind right now. <clears throat> so I have this one to upload, another one which is already finished to upload, and then I have to cut today's together, which this is going to be in. Kind of weird to say that now. And then this vlog will be online. 